Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this is quite a fat parcel. Uh, yeah, there was no way that the postman was going to push this one through the letterbox. So yeah, I've got some really good goodies. And this parcel has come to me from the wonderful people at fancells.com. So yeah, I'm a big fan of fancells. Um, they were the first company that I bulk bought diamond paintings from. And yeah, I've got them all over the house. So... <laughs> Um, they contacted me and asked me if I would like some products to show on my channel. I said, yes, of course, love fan cells. And they have some fantastic new things that have come out. So these are some of the new items. So I hope you like them as much as I do. So let's have a look at this, see what we got. Oh, I'm trying to get into the wrong plat, pa plat? part of the bag. <laughs> okay, so we have... Oh, look, that's quite a fat package. wonder what that could be. Da, da, da. That's definitely one of the new ones. We have a box. A bag with a box in it. Yay, one of the diamond painting box. And uh, as somebody pointed out to me, <laughs> one of my unboxings, the eye's missing from the paint. <laughs> so these generic boxes say handmade diamond painting DIY. <laughs> So these are for Millie because she tends to pant when she gets a bit warm. <laughs> and then we have a diamond painting. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's pop the bag out of the way. I'm going to keep you guessing on the two uh, specials over there. So we'll just pop those over there for now. And we'll have a look at the painting. But before we do, I'm doing this video quickly to get it out before Christmas. So if you've got some Christmas money that you want to spend uh, or you want to take advantage of this great special offer, there is a 5% discount off at Fan Cells at the moment if you go and check the website out. And if you spend over £30, pounds, pounds that is, not dollars, pounds, <laughs> then you get toll free gifts, toll free gifts, yay! So, go and spend that Christmas money and get 5% off. We like money off and we like free gifts. And, uh, yeah, if you just go and check the website. Obviously, as I always say, if you are watching this at a future date and after Christmas, then uh, the special offers may have changed. But do go and check out the website anyway. So I'm just absolutely loving the new stuff that's coming out at the moment. Diamond painting is just so exciting because there's just new things. And you think, wow. And uh, if you're anything like me, you go walking around uh, shops and that things now and you think oh that would look good with diamonds on it and that would look good with diamonds on it <laughs> okay so we're going to have a look at this little painting now and i promise this is the only christmas item that i have but it is a new one out and i just had to get it i mean it, it well i suppose it does scream christmas really because it's red green and gold but how cute is that? Look at that little face with those big eyes looking at you. And I do love my owls. Um, I have an owl corner. So, yeah, um, I've had to shuffle things around. I've got like a, a gong corn, gnome corner, and then an owl corner. And I'm having to sort of work around things at the moment. So, uh, yeah, trying to get all my Christmas stuff up on my walls. I do need to think start. Uh, using next door's walls as well you know i'm sure they won't mind <laughs> okay so this little chap is a 30 by 30 and i thought oh i'm not going to get christmas because everybody will have so much christmas stuff but then i saw him and i thought i've just got to get in when something is so cute you've just got to get it it'd be rude not to it really would <laughs> Look at that. I mean, I, I suppose you could keep him up after Christmas. Yeah, well, yeah, um, he probably will stay up after Christmas because it will take me forever to put everything away. <laughs> Got out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he is just red and green. I suppose, yeah, you could leave him up. Nobody's going to say anything, are they? So he is eight different uh, crystals and colours. Lovely. Look at his claws very very bejeweled and i just uh, said so I thought, oh i think there was some others in this series if there is i'll put the uh, other ones across the screen as well 
for you to say do you know i can't honestly remember i've got that much going around in my brain at the moment with my decorations and i wake up in the middle of the night and i think i need to put that over there and if i put that there i've got a bit more space over there. <laughs> even the uh, chaps that came to collect hubby this morning uh, for his treatment uh, said oh it's very christmasy in here i said oh, thank you very much <laughs> all my own work <laughs> So we are uh, to 25 centimetres, the actual uh, drill area. So that is uh, nine and three quarter inches. The 30 centimetres is the full picture size. Now, if you wanted to put it in a 30 by 30 frame, you could just cover over your edges, use some nail varnish remover. But uh, I like my little magnetic frames that you get now. I think they're so easy. And I've got so many up all over the house and hubby's saying, you know, after Christmas, when you take all these down, are you going to put other pictures in those frames? And I said, I might do. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, dear. It's fun. Can you tell I'm really uh, happy because it's Christmas week. Christmas jumpers every day this week. I've got all my Scotty Christmas jumpers out and I shall be wearing a different one every day. So, yeah, just so that I get my wear out of them. Uh, you can't have so many things and not wear them. It'd be rude not to. Right, we have a standard little pen, boat and wax. Enough to do your kit. And this one was £3.49. Cheaper than a cup of coffee and a biscuit, I tell you. £3.49 and you've got something that you can enjoy doing and then bring it out next year and uh, keep it for years and years and years. Well, that's what I'm going to do anyway. I've got ones from when I first started diamond painting, the first Christmas I did, because the first actual diamond painting pictures that I did were too far the Christmases. So they are up on my walls now and they will always go up on my walls. So yeah, let's have a look at these colours. They're all sparkly. Right. Ooh. Oh, look at these. So I said eight different ones. So look at that crystally sparkle. Very, very clear. I love it when they're just so clear. It reflects the blue in the packets and it looks like an ice blue colour. And a lovely, rich, Christmassy red. We like our Christmas red. And then we have a very dark red. Yes, that's a very dark red. Just as a little bit of contrast. And then we have a lovely limey green, nice and fresh. So we've only got four different crystals in the actual standard size. And the rest are specials. Yay, I like my specials. And then we have some semispheres in the red, in a smaller red. So there's no, no, there's no facets on those. So yeah, they just sparkle a little bit different. They almost look like glass. They are acrylic, but they do look like glass. And then we've got the uh, larger semispheres in the red. Then we've got some marquees with an iridescent coating on. So you get all different colours, purples and greens and blues, a bit like oil on water. And uh, yeah, they are pretty standard in a lot of crystal pictures, your special drill pictures. Uh, and yeah, they do make things just that little bit more sparkly. And then we have two of what I call owl claws, because the first time I got these, um, well, the first few times I got these gems, they were actually used as owl claws. This picture, we're actually having silver sparkly ones, so it's very posh for Christmas. But this one is for his beak, and we only need one, and we've got two, so we've got a spare. Yes, we like spares. So plenty to do this picture. Looks like uh, the main colour is going to be that lovely lime green. He's really going to stand out, isn't he? Very, very pretty. So yay, had to get him. Uh, going to really, really try and get this one done and up on the wall uh, in the next, where are we? Seven days today will be Christmas Day. So yes, I've got quite a, a fight on my hands to get this one done. But uh, yeah, it's going on top of my pile. My pile is, well, it is it's getting smaller. I am getting through them. Uh, yeah, with uh, hubby being out now three afternoons a week, uh, going for his dialysis, then yay, I do get my afternoon, three afternoons a week free to get these done and to sit and diamond paint is lovely. Oh, look at that little face. Could you just pick him up and give him a cuddle? Yay. Oh, look. 
lovely Christmas owl. Right, what shall we look at for the next one? Uh, let's have a look at the one in the box. We'll keep the one in the packet till last. So, nice box project. Now, I am pleased that they are starting to put things in boxes, even if we have got the eye missing out of painting. <laughs> Do you know, I'd never noticed, but spelling's not my strong point, to be fair. Um, and I did get it pointed out to me. But yeah, it's just keeping things that little bit safe for now. Um, and yeah, you can cut the diamonds out on these if you wish to. I have on a few and you could make them into cover minders and maybe yeah, just put them through a laminator if you've got one or, uh, you know, just some um, plastic covering or something like that um, or even some Mod Podge or something just to make them seal them and then use them as cover minders. So yeah, and all different colours and all different sizes. I never throw anything away, I'm a crafter. <laughs> So we have our oh, little stand look, so it's a little wooden project. And which one did we get? So lots of new ones coming out. Out of the crinkly packet first. Okay, ooh, crystals, crystals, yay. Right, just take that out of the way. So we've got our basic little black stand, which is about, what did we say? I think they're, I'll measure it, but uh, is it about six centimetres by 10 centimetres? No, it won't be that big, will it? Probably about six centimetres that, no. I can't remember. Stop trying to guess, Liz. <laughs> we have a pen, boat and watches stand, a little toolkit. And this one is, can you see, we've got some ears up here. Ta-da! Look at that. How cute is that? Gorgeous little tiger. Yay. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, and he's got a real soft, fluffy front look. He's got a little, little well, it won't be fluffy because it'll have gems on it, but yay. Oh, and if you've been with me for a while, hello, welcome back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hello, thank you for stopping by and I hope you'll stay with us and subscribe. Press that subscribe button. And yeah, uh, Hull City, which is the nearest uh, big city to where I live, um, have a football team called the Hull City Tigers uh, because their uh, football strip is black and amber stripes. So, yay, we like a lot of tigers and a lot of whole city things. So, this will be a gift to probably one of the family, although it is quite cute, so it may have to stay here. Um, yeah, I am having trouble giving away a lot of these things at the moment. I have to pass them on because I've got so many, but also I'm very much, oh, that's so cute, it's got to stay here. So, I'm going to be torn with this. I might have to get another one so that I can gift one and uh, have one for myself as well. <laughs> So it's one of our lovely wooden ones and it's the three layers of the wood. So you've got like, um, is it like a, I don't know, like a ply board on top, nicely finished off, nice and smooth. So there's no uh, risk of splinters or anything from this. I think it's probably an MDF or something in the middle. And then you've got your diamond painting on the back there. And then you've just got your top cover sheet that just peels back leaving all your sticky where you're going to put all your little crystals and gems but yeah oh that face is gorgeous this is so cute and then when you've done him um if it's going to be handled a lot or in a place that's a little bit dusty or in a bathroom or a kitchen or anything you never know people put diamond paintings everywhere i do <laughs> then it will need to be sealed um but yeah if it's just general use and just out um if it's leaving it out then uh, yeah, it won't need to be sealed and then it will just stand in its little stand and it's lovely and it just stands up oh right let's do a few quick measurements where is my tape measure put it over there so let's see what the stand actually is it's uh, 12 centimetres, four and three quarter inches by, yeah, it is six centimetres. I knew six centimetres came into it somewhere by just over two and a half inches. So it's a very small footprint. So rather than having a big round ornament on your side, you're getting something that looks 3D, is very, very sparkly and very pretty and only taking up a very small space on uh, your top of uh, your fireplace or wherever you're putting it on your uh, bedside table even. 
but yeah isn't that gorgeous right how big are you mr tiger let me see from the top of your little top knot there down to the bottom so it is just over uh, 20 centimeters which is just over eight inches so a nice little height good to be uh, making his uh, making himself known not too small and then it is about 16 and a half centimeters which is about six and a half inches so yeah not too big at all but they are lovely i do like the wooden ones because i'm exceptionally clumsy and i do drop things quite a lot so the wood tends to be uh, a lot more durable than the acrylics but then you do get a different effect with the acrylics 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 Lacey. <laughs> so yeah you, you do get set more of the see-through appearance on those but i do like the wood right let me have a look obviously great for beginners these as well because there's not that many gems to put on um but they are a lovely little project to do and you think i've done this and it's lovely when it's done so how many have we got we've got oh eight that's good it actually tells us on the packet <laughs> so there are eight different gems and colors very very nice obviously tigery colors so we're starting off with your standard acrylic black gem, which they do tend to put these in on specials um, rather than putting a black crystal. Because to be honest, the black crystals tend to look just the same anyway. But it just sort of makes everything else then stand out. If you've got that one plain colour, then the crystals will shine more because you've got a base colour at the back of them. We've got your standard crystal again, lovely and sparkly. And then a very pale gold crystal and a lemony crystal there. So we get quite a bit of contrast and a little bit of a peachy crystal. And then we have a two. What colour are you? You're the wrong way around in my packet. Let me look. Oh, gold. Uh, big teardrops. So again, um, we only need one, but we have two in the packet. This is going to go just on his little forehead there. Oh, that'll be cute. That'll be real sparkly. And then we have some marquees uh, with the facets on, but these actually don't have an iridescent coating on. These are just the plain crystal ones. So, yeah, again, different effects with different gems. And then we have some black. Um, these, are, again, have got facets on, and these are just a standard plain black. And I think they're going to be the centre of the eyes. Yeah, looks like they are. Now, if you do want an extra little highlight, um, as I've shown before, I've got these white paint pens with the very, very fine tip. So what I tend to do when I get an eye that's like um, just plain black, I just add a very, very small dot in the corner. I'll do it through the packet like that, look. So you just get like that highlight in the eye. Let's see if we can just get that yeah you should just put a little white dot and i'll have to wipe this off the packet it just gives you that little extra highlight in the corner of your eye obviously put them both going the same way otherwise you end up with a cross-eyed tiger <laughs> nobody wants a cross-eyed tiger uh, and it just gives that extra little effect just something that i uh, like to do right let me just find a tissue and wipe that off otherwise i'll be putting my hand in it <laughs> So that is our gorgeous mini tiger and he was only £5.99. Fantastic. Really, really good value. Okay, just pop out the way a moment, Mr. Tiger. And then the star of the unbagging, which I started to see these um, a couple of weeks ago and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to get those. So let's have a look. Will it open up this way? Oh, it will. Oh, that's good. So digging out my scissors. Oops. And look at this. Ta-da! Right, so we aren't coasters. We are placemats. She's <laughs> trying to show them and they're all upside down. <laughs> So rather than your little coasters, we've now got placemats and there are lots of different ones. Yay! So we have a pen button watch, a standard little... Oh, we've got two toolkits in this one. So you can do this one with a friend. Excellent. Okay. And we have a... Oh, a big fat 
pack of your crystals there. Oh, we've got a hot pink. Yay, calling hot pink. And then this great little stand to put your little mats in. Look at that. So, yeah, they just fit in there really well. I mean, to be honest, if you didn't want to use this um, as a rack for your uh, plate stands, then you could actually use it as a plate rack in your cupboard, couldn't you? That's really, really sturdy and strong. It's uh, like a metal one. So, yeah, that's really good. Just uh, bends a little bit, but not much. There's not much uh, giving that at all. That's going to be really strong if you want to use it. But very nice. Sit that on your table, look, with your placemats in. Now, they did do some Christmas ones, but I didn't choose the Christmas because I was thinking of spring, summer. And, yeah, so I've got the ones with the lilies on. And these are just so pretty. Look at those. So that one's like a big lily here, here. I'm not quite sure what that is. That might be a lily that's opening up in a little pot. And they're all in like pinks and blues. And I just like with such a soft colour palette, this one, to go with most decorations. Uh, again, some more lilies in a different coloured pot there. So we've got a set of four of these and they were £10.99, and pence, which I think is a really good value. And then we've got uh, some blue lilies there and another one with your pink lilies. So they're all slightly different, but the colour theme all matches in together. But aren't they pretty? Really nice. Um, I would suggest if you are going to use them with, say, hot plates or something, put in some cork backing on. You can easily get some cork backing from craft stores and things. Um, just so that you've got a bit more heat resistance there. But you are going to have a layer of gems and then also, you know, probably your tablecloth or whatever as well and the wood. So they are quite raised up, but I would suggest putting something else underneath as well. Stop set them slipping quite so much because I know some of the coasters do come with the little cork backings as well or a piece of felt, you know, if you've got some felt lying around. Um, you know, our nose crafters, we tend to have quite a few things stashed away in a few places. But aren't these pretty? And I just thought, oh, these just called to me. I mean, to be fair, you could use it as a side plate stand. You know, if you're having a cup of coffee um, and you've got a biscuit or a piece of cake or something. Or even if somebody's got maybe dexterity problems um, and they can't always get a cup onto a smaller coaster, then you could use these as bigger coasters as well. Just give them a quick measure. So we are 16 centimetres, which is just over six and a quarter inches so yeah you don't need one that's the whole plate size you just need one that is lifting your plate off your table and um, off your tablecloth so these are ideal you know and they're that smaller size so if you want to put them away in a drawer rather than using your stand you can do they'll uh, slot into somewhere um that little bit smaller just a nice space but yeah i mean to be fair these are so pretty you could even do them and do them as a set of pictures on your wall. You don't even have to use them as placemats. You could just literally uh, use them as pictures. As I've got them sat here, I'm thinking, oh, they would look really nice done. And just uh, like a set of four on the wall, they would look really, really pretty. Oh, are these nice? I'm just, I say, I've said it once already, but I am loving all this new diamond painting stuff that's coming out. They're just brilliant. I'm just uh, loving it all. Um, I just want to get them all now. And who needs sleep? I just want to diamond paint all day. <laughs> right, a good big fat packet of gems. So how many colours have we got here? Uh, that goes up to B. So where are we? We have eight, nine, uh, ten different gems. And they are all the standard crystals apart from your white and that's so that you've not got any sort of rocky areas. They're all going to be the same height so that when you put your plate on, it's not wobbling about. Because if you start putting different size special drills and things on coasters and placemats, then you might find that things wobble a bit. And you don't want a wobbly plate while you're eating your dinner. <laughs> We start off with two big packs of your B5200 white. Um, 
acrylic white there and yet yeah, they're both the same colour so that is going to be the outline on all of your uh, placemats now then I was thinking it was blue but they're not they are actually white so I don't think there is any blue in this so they are white and pink which is even better because that's even more sort of neutral if you've got a different colour scheme so yeah very pretty we've got the lovely a clear crystal again I do love those crystals they're like a fidget toy to me. I've got a big jar with all my spare ones in. I can just sit and uh, play with the jar. <laughs> We've got our lime green again. Lovely and clear and fresh. And then we have a hot pink. Yay, hot pink. Oh, it has to be a hot pink for a Liz unboxing. We've got like a chestnutty brown there. Lovely bronzy brown. And orangey gold, peachy gold. A lemony gold, another hot pink, yay! And then that's like a greeny brown colour. And the final one is like a little bit paler chestnut colour there. So I think they'll all be um, the shading and the pots at the bottom. And then your flowers are going to be your pinks and your whites and your greens for your leaves. Wow, the white round the edges is really going to make that pink pop. Oh, wonderful! love it so yeah really nice just think if you've got these placemats and then you've got one of those little diamond painting trays and you've got your little coasters then you could sit and have a, a, a biscuit or a nice piece of cake and a cup of coffee and sit with them on your little tray on your placemats and think i did that <laughs> okay let's put these away Okay, so we've had our placemats with our lovely stand and all those crystals. We've had our little tiger, which is so cute. Look at that little nose. Absolutely gorgeous. Great big smile. Mm, is it good or bad if a tiger smiles at you? <laughs> and then our gorgeous owl. Look at all those colours and all those special drills that we're going to have on him. Gorgeous. Love him and those great big eyes looking at you really really pretty okay well huge thank you fan cells for sending me these i've thoroughly enjoyed looking at them i'm really excited about all the new stuff that's coming out love these placemats we'll definitely be getting some more uh, now i've seen them and seen the quality of them i'm like yeah great loving them okay i hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at these with me if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family, see some of these completed and see what we get up to next. Then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, don't forget to check out that 5% off as well at Fansells. Thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.